I mean, you loved it, obviously, last <laughs> night. Were, Quite enjoyed it. Yeah. Were, <laughs> were you like Ian Wright at the end with that Eric Dyer penalty, just with your head in your hands, not wanting to watch? I was in the hall, I couldn't watch. The walk to the... When, when you know they've just missed one. Talk us through that walk. What does it feel like? And how do you centre yourself? You've been in these guys' shoes, Trevor. What is that like yeah. when you when you make that try? Well, they, they talk about you know trying to prepare you for it and all that. And and they do a you know we do it in training. Way. You walk from the halfway, but you know that's when somebody's laughing in the background, your players and whatever. When you're there on that moment, and suddenly the you know, the enormity of knowing if you score because they've just missed, and suddenly. You know, it is sudden death. And actually, the keeper got hand, just yes. brushed his fingertips, didn't it? And, yeah. Um, you know, and uh, uh, it's great because Jordan Henderson is a great lad, had missed that one. Yeah. And, you know, Gareth has said it himself, you know, it, it haunts you. You've practiced, and I'm, you know, I think in discussions, they'd have decided probably what side they're going to go. Because mm. um, yeah. if you can hit it hard enough, even if it goes that way, um, you know, it, it should go in. I mean, it, interestingly enough, the goals we scored all went one side. And well, what, was we missed went me, the what was interesting oh, to yeah. me, Trevor, was that at least one of the players said afterwards that they had been practising, 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 which I think is great, because other teams do this. Mm. The Germans famously practise penalties all mm. the time and are very good at it. But the, they he had practised exactly the same penalty. It was Trippier who said that, wasn't it? Was it, it Trippier? Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. Always the same place. So as they all walked up, I think with the exception of Kane, who probably tries a few variants... I think all the players apparently knew where they were going to kick the ball. Yeah. Does that help, having that absolute laser focus? I know where I'm hitting Rather this. than changing your mind at yeah. the last minute. I think it's, it, it depends on the individual. You know, I mean, Harry Kane has taken penalties in the tournament mm. and, and he had the last one where he went down the middle, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Although he's put the others in that side. Um, I think it's up to each individual. Where... If you hit it top left or bottom left, right in the corner yeah. at high speed, it is almost impossible to save it, isn't it? Yeah, it, it, it's interesting. The, I mean, Eric Dyer didn't hit his particularly, mm. Chris, but it was low, and, and so the, the keeper just brushed the hand. Mm. If it's high and you've whacked it, mm. you, you're not... Pro even if you're stretching up there, you've not got the strength yeah. probably to stop the it. The risk Trevor. is skying it, yeah, of yeah. course, and that's even worse, I can imagine, for All a right. penalty can taker. we win the World Cup, Trevor? Oh, when yeah. I asked you this last time, I didn't think we had a chance. No. Now I'm no. feeling it. I, you get to the quarterfinals, yes, you can definitely. Sweden win. looked very average yesterday. When I yeah. come to Darren in a moment about that, yeah. and then it's Russia or Croatia, yeah. not the not the toughest of draws. Yeah. We've avoided a lot of the big boys in the other side of the draw, and then it may be Brazil or whoever <laughs> in the final, and then. I mean, yeah. any, anyone you interview, Gareth, they'll say we've got to concentrate on the next game, yeah. which which is what you'd expect. As we sit here, you look at the group, uh, and you know the route through now. We, we always said it was a better, uh, but Colombia, I always felt, would be the hardest, I perhaps. Oh, they were the dirtiest, They were so they? physical. I mean, they were cheats. outrageous. They were just it was, it was flagrant outrageous. cheats. And, yeah. right? I mean, it's yeah. absolute blatant cheating. And they were all walking around trying to chat to Harry. Harry kept turning mm -hmm. around, walking away from them, because yeah. they were just going to say, you're going to miss it away. Well, Vindicate is not quite the right word, but it must be a sense of redemption for him last night that we finally won a penalty shootout orchestrated tactically by a man who had been at the worst kind of nadir of a penalty shootout loss. Yeah, I think the the big factor you mentioned that he had been around at the FA, the under-21s and the younger age group. So when he's got the senior job, he knew the characters of a lot of the people. And, and, and the, the squad of 23 was personally picked by him. He knew he had 23 players that were going to work well together. There weren't one or two that would be fed up if they weren't in the team and whatever. So he's got that unit and he knows yet how to prepare them and bring them on for that, you know, the shootout. And his man management skills are great. But I think just the fact that he's come through the system and he's selected those individuals, those players also know they can go up to him, Piers, and talk about things. Look, I'm not happy with it. And, and that's yeah. never really happened with an England coach because you yeah. bring in overseas people and they don't know the players so well. So he has been really spot on at the moment. And the great thing about this tournament now, getting to the quarterfinal, whatever happened, he's going to be there for the next four years at least because everyone knows and can see the, the, I think where Gareth, we're heading. Gareth Something Southgate very special about him. He's changed, he's changed a lot about that England setup. It mm. feels more friendly, more inclusive. 
He's less. He doesn't react to everything like previous managers does. It's not a war bunker mentality. No. It's been fantastic, and but he's he lifted the spirits of the country. Can do a great rallying cry as well, because whatever he said to them, you know, he's in, he's inspiring them. Yeah, yeah. No, every everyone must feel great today, and and the whole country. Cracking.